One of the only ways we used to absorb information was by browsing through those dusty old encyclopedias every household seemed to have. We missed out on so many interesting facts, so we're more than making up for it on the internet today. From a giant ice disc to starfish that turned to mush, here are 20 unusual things you won't be able to take your eyes off. Number 20. Hot water versus cold water. But what if I told you that hot water could freeze faster than cold water? You'd probably say I'm a liar, that it's impossible, and that hot water will always freeze slower than cold water. But it's actually possible, and it's known as the Mpemba effect. The phenomenon has been known for centuries, but it was only brought back into the modern scientific community in 1969 by a high school pupil from Tanzania called Mpemba. The Mpemba effect involves having two identical containers of water, meaning they're the same shape and holding the same amount of water. The difference between the two is that one sits at a higher uniform temperature than the other. You might assume the cold water would freeze first because you're basing your decision on the temperature of the water alone. But in fact, there are several other factors to consider, like evaporation, dissolved gases, convection, surroundings, and supercooling. When some of these factors come into play, warm water can can freeze faster. The frustrating thing is, no one knows why some circumstances allow for this to happen and others don't. It just does. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. We have a lot of, let's say, unique fruit here on Earth. I mean, just look at the banana. But there's one that's taken the internet by storm. Sure, it might not be real, but you won't be able to take your eyes off this fruit called the milk melon. I probably don't need to tell you what it looks like, but it's so unusual that you won't be able to take your eyes off the screen. It's very anatomically correct, and some might say it's quite satisfying to look at. What do you think? Is this a real fruit? Is it interesting to look at? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Rainbow Lightning have you ever seen lightning form at the same time as a rainbow? Uh, probably not, because that doesn't happen, right? Well, that's what you'd think if you hadn't seen it, but some people have seen it with their very own eyes. In a rare weather phenomenon, Lewiston Clarkson Valley residents in Idaho were given a spectacular show when lightning formed on a backdrop of a rainbow. As the two weather events use rain in different ways, it's as rare as hen's teeth to be able to see this happen. People were quick to upload videos to social media, with some people describing the event as Mother Nature's Wonder or Beautiful and Scary at the same time. It was particularly spooky to see the lightning appear to form in the very center of the rainbow. As we know, lightning happens during a storm, whereas rainbows form when the storm's over or the rain has stopped. Rainbows use raindrops to scatter sunlight, and lightning's created when raindrops shuttle electrical charges. But they can't happen together when there's enough sunlight for rainbows to form. Generally, to see this, you have to be positioned between the sun and the storm at the exact time the sun hits the raindrops and lightning's formed from electrical charges. Number 18. Quicksand. One thing we used to see in action movies quite a lot, but not so much now, is quicksand. Legit, quicksand was so overrepresented in action movies that I was convinced as a child this is how I would die. It was always a dramatic scene with someone becoming stuck in quicksand, not being able to get out, and struggling until they were eventually sucked down into its dark depths. Sometimes, though, they were able to grab onto a vine or a branch that appeared out of nowhere and clamber to safety at the last minute. The reality is actually much different, and it's probably much less dangerous than it's made out to be in real life. 
sand. Sure, quicksand is a nuisance. It's sand that acts like a liquid when it's wet. But it's not necessarily a death sentence. Our dense, heavy legs may sink into it, but our torsos, which house our lungs, can remain buoyant. When you're stuck in quicksand, and it's unlikely that you ever will be, you can lean back to distribute your weight over a wider area and make back and forth movements. These movements can let water in around your trapped limbs to loosen the sand. It'll still take you a long time to get out, and there may be the risk of drowning in tidal areas, but the quicksand itself is certainly not the death sentence we might have believed it to be from movies. Dry quicksand is another story entirely, though. Number 17. Bizarre Beach Blobs If you've ever walked along a South Carolina beach, you may have been unfortunate enough to see what you're about to learn about. And we say unfortunate because they genuinely are a bit yuck to look at. We're talking about sea porks or tunicates that have names as awful sounding as they look. They're marine invertebrates, the most evolved of all known kinds, and subtitle creatures forming colonies up to around 12 inches long. They tend to live in large colonies from the low tide mark to 30 feet deep and work together in their colonies to filter the sea. And you'll definitely know what you're looking at when you see one. They're generally clumpy, slimy, gooey looking critters with sack-like water-filled bodies. Sea porks can also be found in many different colors, like pink, red, black, lavender, and red. If you touch them, they're kind of rubbery. However, it's their dead form that's led them to be called sea porks. When they're found dead, they're pale white and tend to look a bit like salt pork. Even though sea porks have an important job filtering the sea, they can be troublemakers. They can invade some areas and spread quickly, which means they can often impact seafood like scallops and oysters. Surprisingly, some people eat them, but they often have poisonous flesh to help them fight off predators. Number 16. Waterfall to Firefall Yosemite National Park is a popular attraction for locals and tourists alike. It has beautiful rock formations, ancient trees, and, of course, the striking appearance of California's Sierra Nevada Mountains. But there's another attraction that people flock to see in February, and it's Horsetail Fall. Horsetail Fall is a temporary waterfall that flows over the El Capitan Rock Formation's eastern edge each winter. The 1,500-foot-tall waterfall flows for around two weeks and transforms into what looks like flowing fire when the conditions are just right. First of all, there has to be enough snow for the waterfall to form in the first place. The temperatures then have to be warm enough to melt that snow and form the waterfall. The sky also has to be clear, and the sun has to strike at just the right angle to illuminate the upper part of the fall to make it look like flowing lava. When all of these conditions are met perfectly, you get to see a firefall just before sunset for only a few minutes. The problem is, we love beautiful natural attractions, and in 2019, over 2,000 people jammed into the small viewing areas and spilled out into riverbanks to see the attraction. In doing so, they trampled on sensitive vegetation and left behind a lot of litter. Now, park officials close these viewing areas each February, so you have to visit a parking lot and hike 1.5 miles each way to catch a glimpse. Number 15. 33-foot ice circle. In 2020, a lot of weird things happened, including, well, you know, a virus that spread around the globe. But something a bit more pleasant also happened. A giant spinning disc of ice that brought people in their droves to see. The large 33-foot-wide ice disc that slowly rotated counterclockwise all on its own was spotted on the Tower River in Ulanhat, a city in North China's Inner Mongolia. It's a rare natural phenomenon that usually occurs in cold climates but was formed in an environment generally with an average winter temperature of 21 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 6 degrees Celsius. More often than not, these ice circles form on a river's outer bends and develop by water that breaks off a chunk of ice and slowly smooths it into what looks like a perfect circle. 
They are typically formed because cold water is denser than warm water, so when the ice melts and sinks, a vortex is formed underneath the ice and causes it to turn. And because such phenomena get a significant amount of attention, locals were quick to turn it into a promotional activity. Reporters were seen standing in the middle of the ice disk, holding a live streaming event to promote local products. Those products were all placed around the outer edges of the circle. Number 14. Instant Freeze Water Experiment If you've ever wanted to do a cool science experiment, we're about to share a very unique one that you won't be able to take your eyes off of. It's also something you can do with young kids, since it's both cost-effective and safe. Once you're finished, you'll be able to turn a bottle of water into instant ice, and there's no voodoo or other black magic involved. Okay, so first, you're going to want to grab a few bottles of water, a large container or bowl, rock salt, ice, and a thermometer. Tip the ice into the large bowl or container, then put your water bottles in there with the thermometer. The bottles don't need to be entirely covered in ice for this experiment to work, but it's not going to work every time, so add a few different filled plastic water bottles of different shapes and sizes. Then add a generous volume of rock salt and wait for the thermometer to reach negative 8 degrees Celsius. With great care, take the water bottles out one by one and hit them hard on the bottom against a surface like a table. If the experiments worked, you'll notice the water quickly becoming cloudy and going slushy. This experiment is basically allowing you to play out the concept of freezing point depression, which is when a liquid's freezing point is lowered by adding another compound. Number 13. Lawn Blisters most of us have experienced a blister, especially from shoes that have rubbed against the skin, leaving a liquid-filled bump in its wake. But what about lawn blisters? A lawn is the last place you'd expect to find a liquid-filled bump, but they happen, and boy are they satisfying to pop. Just imagine a waterbed that you've been given permission to pop by jumping on it. Water pools under the lawn for a wide variety of reasons, and the only way for it to escape is either with time or well, being popped. They can be small or large and caused by leaking septics, broken water lines, or the more common reason, a lot of rain. Generally, a lot of rain can cause them to form when a landscaper has used a plastic sheeting over the soil to grow the lawn because it's in poor condition. They will then add high quality soil on top of the sheeting so that the grass can grow beautifully. Sometimes, water gets trapped between these two layers, forming a blister or lawn bubble. The good news is, if rainfall creates them, they are safe and actually a lot of fun to pop. You may just want to get to the cause of them first, in case leaking septic actually formed them. Number 12. Cracking Black Ice ASMR, also known as an Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is a big deal right now. You might notice that some videos you watch that create a pleasant sensation in your body are tagged with hashtag ASMR. And for some people, the sound of cracking ice evokes those feelings. Skating on ice, driving on it, or playing on it can cause that gentle cracking sound. But there's something truly quite remarkable about watching and listening to black ice crack. It's definitely something unusual that you won't be able to take your eyes or ears off of. As you skate over it, which we don't recommend, you notice more than just that gentler, sometimes sharp, cracking sound. You might also notice a type of twanging sound, almost like someone's firing a ray gun as you take each step. Expert wild ice skaters, also known as Nordic skaters, are the masters of skating over such ice and producing that incredible sound. We really do recommend taking care with all ice, though. New ice is generally much stronger than old ice, and you can't judge its condition just by its thickness or appearance. Ice never really freezes evenly, and any ice that's formed over flowing water and currents is, more often than not, dangerous. Number 11. Glowing Ghost Mushrooms the most interesting thing about mushrooms is how many vastly different varieties we have. 
Some kill you, some make you very, very happy, and others are delicious to eat as food. Then, some are just aesthetically pleasing and very much not safe to eat. Ghost fungus falls into that category. During the day, this fungus in southern Australia and Tasmania looks like your ordinary edible oyster mushroom, except they cause vomiting and are toxic, so they're certainly not edible. They grow in clusters that overlap at the foot of forest trees, and they are in every way an ordinary mushroom room you'd see on a walk through a forest, but it's a different story at night. Ghost fungi are bioluminescent. That means that in the dark, they glow radioactive green. They contain a light-emitting substance known as luciferin. In oxygen, this substance is oxidized by luciferase, an enzyme. This causes a chemical reaction with the energy released as a green light. As vibrant as the green might be, the light's actually quite subtle, and you can generally only notice the glow in very dark conditions without a flash. Flashlight. Number 10. Gorgeous Geodes. It might seem like the only people to get excited about ordinary rocks are geologists. After all, they know what they're looking at and can tell the difference between a common river rock and a rock that's quite rare, old, or special in some way. But if there's one rock that we can all get behind in appreciating, it's geodes. They are rock structures with internal cavities lined with mineral materials. They're beautiful purple. My goodness. They look like ordinary rocks from the outside, but it's easy to see how special they are when they are discovered in bedrock that is worn away. Firstly, their outer layer is so robust that they weather much slower than other rock types. Once you break them open, you can see tiny quartz crystals with several bands of white and gray translucent agate. And you don't always know what you're going to get when you open them up, because the crystals can be all different colors. Purple amethyst, white calcite crystals, and colorful banded agate tend to be the most frequently discovered. However, you can sometimes uncover rare geodes with blue gem silica, opal, and even pink rhodochrosite. They're so popular that they sell out at shows, museums, shops, and art galleries, and are pretty much now a collectible item. Number 9. Piglet Squid there's so much we don't understand about the ocean, and we're not even close to discovering all the different marine life that lives in the dark depths of the oceans around the world. But in 2019, we at least discovered one more, and what a magical find it was. Marine scientists on board the exploration vehicle Nautilus spotted a creature about 4,544 feet or 1,385 meters below the surface of the ocean. One of the voices in the video can be heard saying, What are you? What are you? What is that? It's a... Which is always good news when you're on an exploration adventure. When it came into view, the general consensus was that it was a squid, but it certainly wasn't a squid they'd ever seen before. So they called it a piglet squid, and it's as cute as it sounds. It has a bloated body, tiny tentacles, and what looks like a little hat. It has an unusual mantle-to-leg ratio, too, which helps it move through the water. The mantle is filled with ammonia, and it uses this to control its buoyancy. At first glance, the piglet squid also looks like it has beautiful, dark eyes with luscious eyelashes, but that's unlikely to be the case up close. Number 8. Inflatable Latex Trousers Clothing designers are always playing with different materials and shapes to create some pretty out there garments. Typically, these are displayed at fashion shows and don't generally end up as trends out in the community. But menswear designer Hari Krishnan created something so remarkable we can't help but be mesmerized by it. Inflatable latex trousers that are designed to create exaggerated silhouettes. These trousers look entirely normal around the waist area, aside from being made of latex, but then billow out to unusual proportions before tapering in at the ankles. The middle portion is filled with air, which is inserted through a small valve at the bottom of the pants. Hari Krishnan created several pairs of them with 30 latex panels in plain white or contrasting color blocks of mint green, forest green, and brick red. They're basically something you'd see a fashionable clown wearing. The designer came up with the idea after playing with his dog. He thought about how exaggerated items must look from a low angle and how dogs might see you as a giant or may not even see your head at all. So he developed clothing with the idea of distortion, and you can't help but be amazed at how innovative these pants are. Number 7. Shade Balls 
In 2015, Los Angeles was experiencing a significant drought, with the effects of that drought being that the reservoir was running low. To combat the problem of evaporation in the reservoir, 96 million floating plastic balls were dumped into the water. They were aptly called shade balls because they gave the water shade to stop it from evaporating. Such balls have also been used elsewhere to solve other problems. In 2008, they were poured into the Silver Lake Reservoirs in Los Angeles to prevent carcinogenic pollution. Mining companies also use them to stop birds from landing on toxic tailing ponds. Even airports are on board with them, putting them on drainage ponds to deter birds from visiting and colliding with planes. Surprisingly, though, they solve one problem while creating another. When they are used to solve drought problems, particularly in the case of Los Angeles, they can actually take more water to produce than they save. Producing them would have used around 2.9 million cubic meters of water, and from August 2015 to March 2017, they stopped around 1.7 million cubic meters of water from evaporating. They would have to be there for two and a half years to break even with water savings and water use. Number 6. Zombie Starfish Starfish are pretty amazing. While we have to rely on prosthetic limbs if we lose one, starfish just regenerate theirs. As soon as one of their five appendages becomes damaged or diseased, it just drops off and a new one grows in its place. But in 2013 and 2014, something worrying happened. Starfish, also known as sea stars, were losing their limbs and weren't regenerating them. According to disease expert Ian Hewson, they would just turn to mush and walk around the ocean floor like headless zombies. He said starfish are almost indestructible, but it's like they'd hit the self-destruct button. Whatever disease they were suffering from was taking hold quickly. They would begin with displaying pockmarked lesions, leading to their arms becoming twisted and contorted. Then they would stop being able to hang onto rocks and would disintegrate into a slimy white sludge. In some areas along the Pacific coast, the disease had taken such a firm hold that population losses were as high as 90%. Species disappeared appeared from reefs within weeks. But as quickly as the disease came, it disappeared. More babies were born in one year than the previous 20 years, and some species appear to have bounced back. Experts are still trying to get to the bottom of it for future issues they might face. Number 5. Hot Mud Arriving in Rotorua in New Zealand's North Island is a confusing experience, to say the least. When you hop off a plane, you might wonder whether you've parked it too close to a trash can or if the passenger in front of you decided to break wind at the most inopportune time. But Rotorua smells like rotten eggs all the time because of all the geothermal activity. It's the smell of sulfur, and you can't take a trip to Rotorua without visiting Hell's Gate Geothermal Park. It's a Maori place of healing and revitalization and is the only Maori-owned thermal park in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Here, you'll be able to enjoy a dip in a mud bath, which actually feels amazing on your skin. There are also plenty of other attractions aside from the mud, like hot springs, erupting geysers, and fumaroles, which are openings in the surface of the Earth that emit volcanic gases and steam. Perhaps even more intriguing is exploring the pool where the Maori princess Urutini lost her life and visiting the special muds that the warrior Kaitaki has been guarding for centuries. Mud really doesn't get much more interesting than what you'll find in Rotorua. Number 4. Creative Cloud Chambers If you're interested in physics, you're gonna love what you're about to learn. If you didn't already know it, that is. We want to share a little bit of information about cloud chambers, also known as the Wilson Cloud Chamber. It's a particle detector that was used to visualize the passage ionizing radiation. The chamber had a sealed environment with a supersaturated vapor of either alcohol or water. An alpha, beta particle, or another energetic charged particle would interact with the gas mixture by knocking electrons off gas molecules. It would do this via electrostatic forces during collisions, which caused an ionized gas particle trail. The ions would act as condensation centers, and a trail of small, misty droplets would form around it. They appeared as a cloud for a few seconds, and droplets would fall through the vapor in different shapes. 
These chambers actually played quite a crucial role in particle physics from the 1920s until the 1950s. Then, the bubble chamber was invented. The discoveries of the positron, muon, and kion were all made with this amazing cloud chamber. Number 3. Elephant Toothpaste Explosion Making elephant toothpaste is a fun experiment. It's a foamy substance caused by the fast decomposition of hydrogen peroxide with the use of yeast or potassium iodide with warm water. As you can imagine, the more of these ingredients you use, the more foam you get. The foam then dissolves and you have a reasonably minimal cleanup job depending on the size. But go big or go home, right? Some people are going far beyond your average small table science projects. They are using mammoth amounts of the necessary ingredients to create elephant toothpaste explosions. For example, YouTubers Nick Juhas and David Dobrik decided to prepare their entire backyard for a massive explosion. They laid plastic and recycled it after they used it. They then created a large blue foam volcano that reached their entire property perimeter. It took over the entire yard momentarily, but surprisingly, none of the neighbors phoned to complain. They took on this challenge in response to another YouTuber's experiment, Mark Rober, who filled a swimming pool with the foam. I think it's fair to say they more than outdid him, but is this going to start some kind of foam war? Number 2. Ice Balls We've been using boring old ice cubes for so long that it's hard to imagine there's a much more exciting way to cool your beverage. You can use ice spheres instead. Aside from the fact that they're a refreshing change, pardon the pun, from ice cubes, they also have way more benefits. The fact that they're so big means they keep your drink colder, and they also generally don't dilute your drink as much either. The surface area to volume ratio of some sphere molds is less than a cube, so they also melt much slower. And thanks to the design of some that can strangely remove and isolate air bubbles, they don't break up in your drink either. Let's not not forget how cool they look, too. There's something oddly satisfying about watching an ice ball slowly rotate in your drink rather than having ice cubes clambering about, melting and ruining it instead. Depending on the mold you choose, you might also notice that they freeze from the top down, producing the perfect ball for double rocks glasses. Yeah, as you might have noticed, I'm a big fan of these ice balls. Number 1. Bleeding Tooth Fungus You've already learned that fungus is quite weird, exciting, and wonderful. No two are the same, and that's certainly true of bleeding tooth fungus. It looks like it's straight out of a horror movie, but this isn't fiction. It's a real fungus that's actually native to the Pacific Northwest. It looks as disgusting as it sounds. It seems to have pale flesh with deep pores that a thick red fluid seeps out of. When you turn it over, there are small, terrifying-looking spines. It looks nasty, and I'd be afraid to touch it, let alone pick it up or do anything else with it. But bleeding tooth fungus actually isn't as bad as it looks or sounds. Like most others you see, they eventually turn into brown fungi and have a whole host of benefits for surrounding vascular plants. They get carbon dioxide from the host and then provide the host with better nutrient absorption. This is because they convert amino acids and minerals into forms the plants can use. Unlike other mushrooms, you probably wouldn't eat this one. It's not poisonous, but it tastes terrible. It's incredibly bitter and isn't used for food, although it may have some benefits in the medical field. Bleeding tooth fungus contains thelophoric acid that may be used to treat Alzheimer's disease. I love learning new things, and I also love how I don't have to sit on the floor in the living room poring over an encyclopedia anymore. Out of all these unusual things you've just learned, which one surprised you the most? And were there some you already knew? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!